Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. Union Home Minister Amit Shah on Tuesday rolled out change in Manipur over the ongoing violence in the BJP ruled state. Shah rolled out Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh's resignation over the ongoing violence. Speculations have been going on that Biren Singh might step down over his alleged mishandling of the ongoing crisis. While addressing a press conference marking the 100 days of the third term of the NDA government, Shah said that barring three days of violence last week, the overall situation in Manipur has been calmed and the government has been working to restore peace in the state. Manipur has witnessed ethnic violence since May last year, leaving at least 234 dead and over 60,000 internally displaced. The Gohati High Court issued a notice to Assam government on Monday, September 16, 2024, in a case related to the custodial death of a rape accused on August 24. Abdul Awal filed a petition in the High Court seeking a judicial probe into the custodial death of his son and compensation. One of the rape accused, Tafajul Islam, who was handcuffed, reportedly drowned while trying to escape from police custody. He was accused of raping a 14-year-old girl in Dhing in central Assam. Awal claimed that the arrest of his son was a case of mistaken identity based on the wrong photograph of one of the accused that went viral on social media. After hearing the case on Monday, a division bench of Justice Manash Ranjan Pathak and Justice Somitra Saikya asked the Assam government to provide details about the incident by November 4, the next hearing date. Social organization Thma Urangli Juki or TUR on Tuesday termed Meghalaya Communication Policy 2024 as arbitrary as it infringes on freedom of expression and press freedom. A recent notification dated September 16, 2024, issued by the Director of Directorate of Information and Public Relations, DIPR, ruled out that anyone who intends to disseminate news has to register with the DIPR, failing which the person would be held in violation of Meghalaya Communication Policy 2024. Any individual or organization not accredited or impaneled with DIPR who disseminate news on social media platforms within the state of Meghalaya without completing this registration will be deemed in violation of the Meghalaya Public Communication Policy 2024 and action in accordance with law will be pursued. This notification aims to ensure that no individual posts content that is against the interests of the state public order, decency, morality or involves defamation of any institution or individual or that is likely to incite the commission of any offence it read. A road accident occurred on Tuesday morning near the civil hospital at Yalong in West Chianti Hills District on National Highway 6 involving a six-wheeler truck and an Alto K10. The truck bearing registration number ML04B2032 was driven by well-born Sungo from Nongba village and was en route to Joai from Lom Shnong. The Alto K10 with registration number AS11R6071 was travelling from Gohati towards Siltar. According to officials, the preliminary investigation suggests that a driver of the Alto K10 was under the influence of alcohol and fled the scene before police arrived. Fortunately, no injuries were reported from the accident. The police are continuing the investigation into the incident. Meghalaya is ready to prove its mettle in the cricketing arena after making waves in the footballing field, proving its talent and potential in the Duran Cup 2024 earlier this year. The Meghalaya Cricket Association, MCA, has announced its squad for the upcoming Ranji Trophy 2024-2025 season, featuring a fully domiciled team. The MCA Senior Men's Selection Committee has selected a squad of 12 local players with an additional five standby players for the first two matches for the Ranji Trophy 2024-2025. Three spots among the 15-member squad for guest professionals are yet to be filled by the selectors. Meghalaya have qualified for an elite group this season after the phenomenal run in the plate group in 2023-2024, where they were the runners-up to Hyderabad. The Achik State People's Front ASPF Garubada Regional Unit has urged the Deputy Commissioner of South West Garo Hills to conduct a joint verification drive for labour licence and illegal infiltration at Garubada Bazaar. In a letter submitted to the Deputy Commissioner, the ESPF said Garubada Bazaar is a significant hub for migrant workers from states like Bihar and even neighbouring Bangladesh and raised concerns about the presence of undocumented workers in the area. Calling for a collaboration with the Labour Department, ASPF sought for joint inspections to ensure that all labourers at Garubada Bazaar possess valid labour licences and are in legal employment and identify and address cases of illegal infiltration by ensuring that workers have proper documentation for residing and working in the area. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast.
For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon. Meet you.